Yo, what's cracking my Sega 5 fam? We're back with a new video. And today I'm gonna show you how to transform your FL Studio from this into this. So let's get into it. So right now, obviously we have the completely stock FL Studio look. And first of all, you will need FL Studio 21. So if you do not have that yet, go download it. But to change your theme, you have to go to options, theme settings, and also don't worry this video will be more in depth than just themes but the themes are the first step so first of all you want to choose a theme that looks good to you i like this one and then you could tweak it i'm not really going to go that in depth to this because it's pretty self-explanatory what all this stuff does okay so i pretty quickly made this dark blue theme right here i kind of like it i kind of mess with it so this option down here is most likely already on but you're going to want to click this audio and automation clips use note colors that is really important and you'll see why shortly okay the next thing you'll probably want to do is change your grid to contrast because look at this it's so hard to see so you're going to click this arrow here in the piano roll click view and then change it to high the grid contrast and that makes it much more readable and now you probably see there are no colors are wrong so you're going to right click this and set it to whatever color you want so here we got blue notes but you're also going to want to click this arrow go to view go to note colors and click edit palette and replace all of these colors with colors that you want to use you can use different shades of colors but i just made them all the same color and then you hit accept you may be wondering why this is important it's important because of the setting we clicked earlier to use the note colors for automation and audio clips so now if i drag in audio clips they all match the colors just by default Okay, you could call it there because this looks pretty good, but I don't know about you. I want to go one step farther right here. So if we go back to the theme settings, you notice there's this text knob. And what this does is adjust the text in the browser. So this is what it looks like default. You know, everything's green. This is what it looks like default, how everything's green. And if you turn it to the right, everything turns white. And to the left, everything turns black. So you may be wondering... How do you make it colorful? Well, first of all, you're going to leave it in the center. Leave it so everything looks green. Okay, so this next part of the video is just completely optional, but I like to go this extra step. And I'm showing you what the end result will look like on the screen right now. So to do this, you're going to have to come to this page to download this script I made. And you click this code button and then click download zip. And just download it somewhere now to make life easier i made the script an exe file but if you don't trust that here's the source code you could have a look at it it's on the github as well and you could also just run the python file if you want but i figured not everyone got python installed so you could just use the exe but i figure i should just give a demonstration of what this does so i'm going to want to open my folder where all my drum kits are stored so i'm going to right click on the folder and click open and i'm going to copy this path and i'm going to open this settings.txt here that we downloaded and you just put the file path there and now we have to configure the colors that we want because it can make a gradient so the easiest way to find the colors that you want is to take a screenshot and i'm gonna take a screenshot of up here so i'm gonna open this in paint.net and i know a lot of you probably have this but if you don't you can just go download it so now we're gonna select our colors using this color picker tool and you just want to select colors that you want so i kind of like this light blue and in this color browser thing, you're going to click more and copy the hex code that's right here. And then change the folders color one and files color one to that. And then choose a secondary color. I'm going to choose this darker blue. I'm going to copy that hex code. I'm going to put it on folders color two and files color two. And now we can save this file. And now we can finally run the script. If you see this, you just click run anyway. I promise it's not a virus. So you'll see this. It says make sure settings below are correct and they look good to me. So you're going to hit enter. And now we can have a look at what it did. So you're going to want to click this refresh button, the reread structure button. And bam. It colorized everything, made it blue, whatever. I kind of really don't like the colors I chose. They're, it gets too dark and unreadable though. So I might try to mess around with the colors. So I'm going to run the script again, hit enter, kind of looks a lot better to me. It really just ties the entire theme together. I still don't like the colors I chose, so I'm going to tweak it one more time. Also keep in mind, if you have like a lot of folders and drum sounds and everything, this will probably take several minutes to run, but it runs fast for me because I just made this tutorial folder that only has two drum kits in it. And you guys can probably see that this tutorial folder is still green. 
there's a bug and it will be patched by the time this video comes out so when you do this it will not look like this but yeah that is about it that's how to take your fl studio visuals i guess to the next level so if you enjoyed you know what to do the download link for this script is in the description by the way so thanks for watching Thank you.